There is absolutely no way that the UK press should be speaking about anything concerning Harry and Meghan when you have this. That's currently happening as we speak. And also this, and definitely this. But it is no shock, but it's absolutely amazing at the same time that the UK would be so bent on just trying to find any story they can about Meghan and Harry when there really isn't anything to even talk about other than stuff that happened previously. It's a new day, it's a new month, it's a new year. And what more do you all have to offer and say about the topic that is Meghan and Harry and what they chose to do? But you would not focus on what's really important and what's at hand. And let's also remind you that the palace is very active in trying to bury this whole Jeffrey Epstein and Andrew story very actively. Do we not remember this? I've already said this before, but I wouldn't even mind if Prince Harry and Meghan took another year off and don't even be seen just to starve. You son of a... Because at the end of the day, focus on Prince Andrew. Three hours later. Now I know I'm not tripping. I literally just did a video maybe three hours ago about how there's speculation amongst the UK elite that Harry and Meghan is being shunned from Hollywood, which is affecting their pockets. Moolah. So to see this article come, because Harry is about to be honored at a star-studded ceremony. Prince Harry is to be honored at a thrilling ceremony next week as he is honored by the 21st Annual Living Legends of Aviation Awards. It's taking place in Beverly Hills and hosted by actor and qualified pilot John Travolta. The prince is one of four new inductees who are being recognized for their contribution to aviation and aerospace. The royal father, too, served a decade in the British Army, including three years flying training missions in U.S., U.K., and Australia, and combat missions in Afghanistan. He will receive the honor on January 19th, which is a Friday, alongside fellow aviators Fred George, a Navy pilot and writer, Mark Parent, president and CEO of Can Canadian Aviation Electronics, and Steve uh, Hinton, who held a world speed record for a decade and has worked as a pilot on more than 100 movies and TV shows. At this point, I'd rather you all just say that you need Meghan and Harry for your content, your clicks, your news article. Like, you just need them. You need them. Instead of trying to just convince the entire world that they need all of you. But nonetheless, congratulations, Prince Harry. This is well deserved because unlike some, you have put in the time for your military service and you continue to be an advocate and beacon for a lot of veterans out there who have, in so many words, been pushed aside. 